Hi everybody, this is Ann Nyberger from the New Initiative Program. And y'all did such a great job learning how to do your heparin protocol via these videos that we thought we'd come back today and work on critical care math. Now critical care math is when you're using drugs that are very, very, very potent. And so they're always ordered in small amounts, micrograms per kilogram, usually minute, but always micrograms per kilogram. Could be dopamine, could be Dopeutrex. I had to look for Mrs. B for that one. All right, so we're going to learn how to do that in four easy steps. Now, if you came to the NIP workshops in the very beginning of level one, or Mrs. Burgess taught you how to do your math, you learned how to do it dimensional analysis. And this is where this is going to make your life very, very easy. But it doesn't matter the method that you use. It all works the same. So the four easy steps are going to work no matter what method you use. It's really five easy steps but I thought it would be, didn't sound as much fun, so I made step one have two parts. If you'll remember back in level one, you must always start with what you're looking for. That really is the heart of your problem or the goal that you're trying to get your problem to. So once you've written what you're looking for, you're gonna go back in the problem and you're going to pick whatever amount has a time to go with it. They'll be obvious, they may not be sitting right beside each other, but it'll be obvious that they go together. The second step we're going to do is we're going to check our weight. If we have a weight in the answer, then we need to get the weight in the problem. If we don't have a weight in the answer, but it's in the problem, then we need to make sure it crosses out. We're going to check our time. If what we're looking for is in hours, we have to make sure we're in hours. If what we're looking for is in minutes, we have to make sure we're in minutes. And then we're going to balance the equation. We're going to make sure that after we have all of our numbers written beside the words they go with, they equal what we're looking for or the heart of our problem. Okay, now that we've talked about the four easy steps, let's get the math handout that goes with this. So the math handout that you need to use for these questions says, math practice test number three. And we're going to look at question number one first. We'll do a couple of these before we're done. And question number one, a patient weighs 100 kilograms, is to receive 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute. The 500 milliliter bag set up from the pharmacy is labeled with the drug of 80 and 80 milligrams. How many mils per hour will you set the IV pump for? And then it asks me to round my answer using one decimal place. I know that's unusual for a mils per hour, but once again, I have to follow the directions and answer what is asked. So even if I don't think it's right, if that's what the test asks for, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to write what I'm looking for, because that's step number one, my mils per hour. That's what this question is. And I'm going to go back in the question, and I'm going to find the information that has an, um, is an amount that has a time to go with it. You'll see in that question, I have five micrograms per kilogram per minute. In all of these questions, if you have more than one word in an order, first word goes on top, everything else goes on the bottom. If there were more words down here, they would all go on the bottom of the problem. So this is my numerator and this is my denominator in words. Then I'm going to, step number two, I'm going to check my weight. Well, you'll see in what we're looking for, there is not a weight word, but there is a weight word here in the, in the bottom. So I have to get rid of it. And the way I do that, just like I balance a fraction, is I make sure the words cross out. So that is going to cross out my kilogram words. Step number three was I was going to check my time. What time do I need to be in? Hour. And the problem right here is in minute. So then I'm going to use the conversion 60 minutes over one hour, which gets rid of my minute words. So now I'm in microgram per hour, so it's time to balance the equation. You see that I need milliliters on top, so I have to take how the drug is available, getting the milliliters on top, and in that 500 milliliters is 80 milligrams. If this drug had been ordered by milligrams, those would cross out and I would be done, but it wasn't, it was ordered in micrograms, so I have to do the conversion. One milligram equals a thousand micrograms. That is gonna cross out my milligram words and my microgram words, and now you see, the only word that I have left on top is milliliters, 
and the only word I have left on bottom is hour, which is what I'm looking for. When I do the arithmetic across, I end up with 187.5 mils per hour. Okay, now you see how easy the five or four easy step steps really make this. My goal is always to keep you guys happy, and so I have to do one other kind of these problems with you, or you wouldn't be happy with me. So we are going to look at problem number six. Problem number six, there's a lot of information in here that doesn't really matter. My friend, she's an ICU nurse. She asked me to take a look at a patient who's on a Nipride drip. You notice the IV bag covered in, with aluminum foil, but you can see that the label reads, Nipride, 500 milligrams in 250 milliliters D5W. Your friend tells you that you've always been a math whiz and asks you to figure out how much Nipride his patient is receiving in micrograms per kilogram per minute. He tells you that his patient weighs 55 kilograms. You see the IV pump is set at 30 mils per hour. And the question asks, can you help your friend out and tell and figure out how many micrograms per kilogram per minute this patient is receiving and round your answer to one decimal place. Okay, after reading all of that, we figured out that what this, what this problem was actually asking us for was micrograms per kilogram per minute. Now this is really, really important. Just like if you have more than one word in an order, if you have more than one word in your answer, First word goes on top, everything else goes on the bottom. And that's the way the words must be in the problem to get it to balance. So let's start with what our amount over time is in this problem. Down towards the very end of the problem, they told me that the pump was set at 30 mils over one hour. So I'm going to start with my amount over time. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check my weight. Do you see that I have the kilogram word in the bottom? So in order to match it, and it has to stay this time because it's part of my answer, I've got to put the kilogram word in the bottom. So just like I use a one to hold it up, I'm going to use a one to hold it down. And this patient weighed 55 kilograms. Then I'm going to check my time. You'll see in this problem that I needed minutes. And I had hour. So I know the conversion I need is one hour over 60 minutes. This crosses out my hour words. So I now have milliliters per kilogram per minute, and I needed micrograms per kilogram per minute. So you know that I need the milliliters to cross off, so I have to figure out how this patient has this medicine available. And if you remember, it was the bag covered with an aluminum foil, but it was 250 milliliters had 500 milligrams in it. So the milliliters had to go on the bottom so that I could get milligrams on top and they crossed off. So now I've got milligrams per kilogram per minute, which is great, except for this question was asking for micrograms per kilogram per minute. So once again, I know the conversion is 1,000 micrograms is one milligram. And when I do that, it crosses off my milligram words. I now have micrograms is the only word I have left on top. Kilograms and minute are the only two words I have left on the bottom, which is what I need. When I do the arithmetic in my calculator, I get 18.1818. Do you remember that this question asked me to round to one decimal place? So I always go next door and look, and this eight is gonna change that one to a two. So my answer is 18.2 micrograms per kilogram per minute. And there you go. You can now do all the critical care math you need to do.